Hey guys, Ryan Manning here, back with another video review, and today it is on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Hulk, uh, Hulkbuster build a, fi uh, build a Figure Wave Hulkbuster from Age of Ultron. Got this figure here today. Pretty awesome figure. Um, one of the only two from this wave I got, the other one being the uh, Marvel Now Iron Man, so if you haven't seen that video, please check that out. Um, but getting into this figure itself, um, pretty awesome. Build a figure, I must say, it looks pretty awesome. You see him there. Obviously, there is no accessories to go over, so we'll get into the figure itself right off the bat. And you see here, he is massive. Pretty awesome looking figure. Um, you have to get, if, unless you do the eBay route, you have to get all seven figures here. Oops. Um, you see that? My hand's not in the way there is. A little dark here, but uh, yeah, they have the Marvel Now Iron Man, the Marvel's War Machine, Marvel's uh, Blizzard, Marvel Legends, um, Heroes, um, Modern, I guess Marvel Now, Doctor Strange, Vision, um, uh, Valkyrie, and I what's her name? I can't remember the last one, but you gotta get all these guys to get this Hulkbuster here. It's pretty awesome. I'll get into that right now. See this here. Pretty awesome. Um, some people might complain about there not being as many PNFs, but I'm okay with it because I mean, it just. I just wanted this Hulkbuster. I wanted a Hulkbuster, and I'm not disappointed. This is a lot better than the last few Build a Figures we've been getting. I don't have the Rhino figure to tell you for sure, but. The uh, group figure was good. The Thanos was disappointing. This one is not disappointing at all. It's put, it's got really great articulation so far, which I'll get into in a minute. But just looking at the massive, sheer size of this guy, it's incredible. Some nice bits there. It's a lot of good sculpting on it. I mean, yeah, the detail, detail is there. It's just not painted. So I guess if you wanted to customize that, customized painters can definitely have the field day with that but just looking at this guy incredible he just awesome really great representation unless you're going to get the hot toys one of course but who has that much money <laughs> put drop half a grand on a figure it's really that's really expensive and this one was more than a fraction of that so i'm okay with that so i uh, don't do what else to say about that just incredible so uh Red sculpt, but uh, let's get into the actual articulation now. So for articulation, uh, pretty good articulation actually for this figure this size. But uh, it goes up that far, goes down that far, side to side. Not much of a pivot. Um, arm swivel 360. Very squeaky joints. They kind of hinge up and down a little bit. Um, it's already see that ratchety joints for the. Elbow, it's not as it doesn't it almost goes 90 degrees, so that's pretty good. Um, sorry, it's really heavy, it's kind of a heavy figure. Um, so crunches forward that far, crunches back that far, not much of a side to side swivel. I don't want to force it more than that. Um, legs go out this far, they kick this far, it kicks this far forward, that far back. He's got upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Even some detail in there, that's pretty cool. Um and ankles go don't really go down so much, they go up a little bit, and there is ankle pivot. And kind of funnily, he has really tiny um peg holes in the bottom of the feet, so pretty good articulation. So for being a Marvel Legends build a figure, hope Buster stands. See that there. He is Actually, a little bit, almost over 10 inches. Pretty massive, I said. Uh, but uh, let's get some size comparisons. So, here's Hulkbuster next to the Mark 43 Iron Man, which is what he expands upon in the movie. Oops. Careful there. Um, see here, obviously, he is a lot bigger. Um, but you can see here, this figure could possibly fit in here if you wanted to. You wanted to customize it, draw out some holes and stuff. He probably could. The only difference is the color is a little off. The Mark 43 is a little bit darker 
the gold and the gold's a little bit different as well. So, you know, not really 100% accurate on that, but, you know, consistency would have been okay, but I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me that much. And it still looks pretty cool. And here he is next to the only other figure I got from the same wave. Here he is next to my uh, Marvel Legends uh, Marvel Now Iron Man, as you can see. Hulkbuster towers over him. You can see the difference in size right there. Cool. So here's Hulkbuster dominating my Marvel Legends so sh movie show. You can see here. See how much bigger he is than the um, uh, Age of Ultron Hulk. Black Widow. Uh, Winter Soldier, Black, Black Widow, Ant-Man, Mark VI, uh, Winter Soldier, Stealth Suit Iron Man, War Machine, um, Raimi's, uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, Phil Coulson in the back there, um, Movie Masters, Dark Knight Rises, Batman, and, and Selena Kyle, Catwoman, uh, or Anne Hathaway, Catwoman, and even my Chun-Li, uh, Soda Street Fighter 2 Chun-Li, and, um, so, uh, Batman Classic TV Series, Adam West Batman, Yvonne Craig, Batgirl, and uh, Julie Newmar, Catwoman, and uh, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and it's everything on this shelf. <laughs> He's just the biggest figure on this shelf and dominating, and it looks pretty cool. So, I guess that's in pretty good scale, him and Hulk. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good scale, I think. I don't know, 100% accurate. I have to watch the movie again, but I think that's pretty good scale there, and it looks pretty cool. So here is uh, Hulkbuster next to my Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Pamela Dolls. You can see Hulkbuster is taller. And finally, here he is next to my uh, My Legends working on Kung Fu for the Waves Guard Spire. As you can see, Hulkbuster is taller. So, so on, I don't know how much more I can say. I love this figure. It's a really great figure. It's probably one of my favorite Marvel Legends to date. It's definitely the best uh, build a figure to date, I believe. So it's up there. It's the favorite one I own, even though I don't. So anyway, I don't have any more to compare it to, um, but it is definitely an amazing figure. Uh, it's a great representation, six-inch scale um, representation of the uh, Age of Ultron Hulkbuster suit. Um, sure, it could have the articulation is good for what it is. It definitely could stand. I like I like the fact that it's not top-heavy, and the possibility of there being die cast in the actual feet to keep it standing, which is awesome. Um, like I said, integration could be a little bit better, but it's still good for what it is. And, you know, it's got detailing in the sculpting. I mean, some people can complain about the paint apps, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I mean, customizer, you definitely, like I said, you can do it. You can definitely customize if you want yourself. And, you know, that doesn't bug me. It doesn't take away from the figure for me at all. Um, I enjoy it. It's probably one of, like I said, it's one of my favorite Marvel Legends. Probably one of my favorite figures that I've gotten this year so far. One of them. Um, it's definitely, like I said, a great uh, Marvel Legends build figure, and it's a pretty good wave if you enjoy some of the figures or have the space for every figure. I definitely think it is worth it, worth the price of cracking down all figures for it. Um, got a good pre price on eBay for most of it, so kind of a good trade off, but it's a pretty good figure again overall. Can't say that enough. I really love this figure, and I definitely recommend it if you're an Iron Man fan. Anyway, that was uh, my review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series build, uh, Hulkbuster build a figure wave, Hulkbuster figure, hope you like it, hope it helpful, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment, if you appreciate it, follow me on Twitter, right now, it's amazing, as always, my Facebook profile, down in the description below, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.